welcome back. So we're going to get into it, see what's the vibe, see what spirit has for you guys at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribes, shares, views, tips, donations, and bookings. I appreciate you guys. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, then you belong here. If you don't have Libra in your chart and you found this channel, then you still belong here. Take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. This is general. If you would like to book a personal, my email is in the description box. So let's get into it, y'all. How you guys doing? I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys are well. So let's get into this reading, Libra. See what's going on with you guys at this time. What's up, so girl? Energy here, so I'm getting Libras at this time. We have the hangman and the knight of wands, okay? So for some of you here, you can have a Pisces energy in your energy here or a fire sign. Um, also, you guys could be experiencing some type of delays at this time or maybe you're holding back from someone. This could be a fire sign that you're holding back from here. For some of you, this could be someone that you have a relationship with. You could also be in a relationship with a Pisces here. This person could be very attractive, very sexy, okay? Again, for some of you, maybe you're not dating. It's like you want to get married here. It's like your goal is marriage, right? Not maybe to sleep with people here. So take that as that resonates. But let's get into this reading, y'all. See what's going on with this energy. Have you on the fire sign energy here? What is the message here for the leaders at this time? This time like, wait, let me use this other deck, y'all. Hold on. I got all this Halloween candy in my pocket. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let's see. What is the message here for the leaders? We have ego, death, and I can. Okay, so someone could definitely be going through an ego death at this time. Also, there could have been someone's ego that could have interfered with a relationship or caused the ending. Okay, it's like knowing that you can do something here. Some of you guys can have a connection to food in some type of way. <clears throat> some of you could have been eating here because of some type of situation going on. Maybe overeating a little or... What is this food meditation? I can. We have Divine Feminine. It's also giving me the energy of like... The fruits of your labor. It's like being fulfilled in a sense. Also having energy, right? Because food gives you energy here. It's like... Again, someone, again, there was some ego death. What's going on with this ego death here? It could be this uh, play, player energy, lustful, fuckboy type of energy here that could have been going through an ego death or that is going through an ego death here. Divine Feminine, you could just be eating at this time as well. It's like whatever you're putting, you know, your energy behind, it's like you're eating here. It's like you have a, a harvest, like plenty of things, okay? Right? As you should, Divine Feminine. But this, someone's definitely going through an ego death. What's going on with this ego death? We have channel and guidance. Okay, so someone could be trying to get some guidance as well. Okay, this person going through this ego death here. This masculine or this feminine. Someone's ego, again, destroyed some relationship here. Someone being very lusty and it's like this ego destroyed this relationship. But also there could be a masculine going through an ego death that's trying to channel some type of guidance here. Maybe even motivation as well. So this person's ego really got shattered here. Who's going through this ego death here? We have create, okay? For some of you here, this could be you, Divine Feminine. 
okay? Not allowing your ego to um, maybe control you in a sense or have you do things that you shouldn't do here. It's like you're trying to manifest. For some of you here, you definitely are a chef or a cook. It's like you have this connection here with food here. I feel like you work with food, okay? Some of you could aspire to do this as well. It's like maybe you, your ego is what's holding you up or holding you back, okay? For whoever this is, is that's the issue. The ego is holding back this person or you, right, to create, create with the divine feminine. Someone definitely fills a void here with you being gone, divine feminine. This person could be trying to manifest you. What's going on here? Right? It's like someone wanting to take action here. It's like this person is looking back. This person is looking down. Also, this person could be feeling really down. Right? They, they're going through this ego death. I really feel like this is someone that you were in a relationship with here or a marriage that, again, is, is this sexual person, right? Always showing a body, having sex. Let's, let's see what else is going on with this person. Let's see what's the vibes with this person, okay? What's going on with this person that and this ego death here? Right, savage. For some of you, this person was a sad bitch. Okay, I just got a confirmation. I just came across the screen. This person was a savage, okay? For some of you here, this could be a, a Virgo energy as well. What's the vibes with this ego gesture? Right, this ladies man can't fucking make it up. The same exact person. This ain't even the same person, but they look exactly the same. Okay. This lady's man is going through an ego death here. Okay. This person fills this void without you, divine feminine. Okay. You're very attractive. This lady's man is very attractive. This person, again, could be trying to manifest you. Again, like in the message, this person wants to eat you or something. <laughs> you. Right. It's like this person wants to nurture you. They want you to nurture them. It's like it's a whole bunch of food here. This person could want you to feed them or they want to feed you. But I know this person wants to eat you too. Okay. What's going on with this lady's man, this ego type? For some of you here, I see this message. It's like if you guys are um, maybe struggling with eating in some type of way, it's like maybe you guys need to smoke a little, you know what I'm saying? Smoke a little marijuana or something, okay, Divine Feminine? If that resonates here. It's like someone's not eating. I see this. This could also be this person here. Maybe this person is going through this ego death. They're not eating. Right? They, it's like they want you to feed them or something. We have liar, okay? So, again, this is this lady's man. They, this person lied to you, Divine Feminine. This could definitely be a fire sign energy, a Pisces, a Virgo. This person lied to you on the daily, okay? Steve could be significant. Martin could be significant. What's going on with this ego, though? We have secret family. Okay, so for some of you here, this person took action here to nurture a secret family. This person lied to you about this family. They gave you some fake news about it, okay? On the daily, okay, for some of you here. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I hope that didn't turn off because Siri popped on. Siri could be significant in some type of 
giveaway. What's going on with this ego death and this lady's man? Right, your light irritates their demons. Self-care is needed. So this this person needs to do some type of self-care here. They need to nurture themselves. This person could possibly, again, need to eat here. It's like maybe this person is not taking care of themselves. They could possibly not be eating, right? Going through this ego death here. It's like this person just needs to meditate and nurture themselves as well with all of this, like, Sleeping around and being egotistical here. Alright, so clearly this is this player energy here. What's going on with this person? What do you want the leaders to know about this person? Besides they going through an ego death. For some of you here, it says past life relationship, free yourself. So for some of you here, maybe you're like in the connection with this person again maybe you're needing to free yourself from this oh also this uh ladies man could be going through this ego death it's like they're freeing themselves it's time for them to take back control of their life okay it's like maybe their ego was like controlling and running their life it's like people People sometimes I feel it's like they could be really egotistical and don't even realize that their ego is running their life and they're not, right? Because we all have ego, but like some people are really ego driven, okay? So it's like this person has to free him, free themselves from this. It's like getting guidance on how to free themselves. What's going on with this lady? Doing? And this is definitely a past lover of yours here. Whether this was a husband or a, a boyfriend or a, a fuck buddy or a fuck boy. But I really feel like you had a relationship with this person. What's going on with this lady? Doing? Finances and career. For some of you, this person was lying to you about their money. Okay, it says financial issues are a factor. So it's like, again, this person lied about finances. Your light was irritating their demons, right? They're a lying ass demon. This person has a lying ass demon that they need to like nurture themselves. Like, what's going on with this person's demons? It's like they have this secret demon. chemistry right it's like for some of you this person has like some type of sexual demon or something attached to their ass right it's like they have to go through an ego death right it's like they weren't even controlling their life this demon was controlling their life self-care is needed forgiving and learning okay as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. For some of you here, you're married to this person here. Or oh, this person is married. Right, this person is married. For some of you, you found out this person was married or in a high level of commitment here. With a family and shit, with kids and shit. It's like this really broke your heart. You was crying and shit. This man looking all silly and shit with his sex demon. Right? He got all these attachments to him. These people he be sleeping with. Look at look at the people he be sleeping with. This person needs to do some self-care. And release codependency. Because this sex demon is running this person's life. Okay, but for some of you here, this person currently is feeling some void in regards to you. Not feeling, feeling. So, like, they feel empty here without you, Divine Feminine. This ladies, man. They could also want your forgiveness here. You and this person have a strong magnetic uh, attraction to one another here. Why did this person lie about their finances? Also, that demon could, their demons could have got triggered if... 
you're abundant or you know in this energy of financially stable and they were lying about their uh stability so that could have been triggering for this person as well what's going on we have engagement right it's like this person lied about their money how they made their money this person could have lied to you about a promotion a raise or something here Maybe you got one or whatever. It's like their demons were triggered by your stability, your financial stability, because they were lying about theirs. Okay, so we have getting to know each other. So for some of you, this person may want to reveal some of these things to you. Let's see, why is this energy here? Right, I feel like for some of you here, this person is planning to take some type of secret action towards you to for forgiveness here. Why is this energy here? And that we have the page of wands, right? So it's like this person could be looking at your photos. This person is going through this ego death. <clears throat> this person wants a new passionate cycle here with you. They trying to manifest. Two of Pentacles. For some of you here, it's like this person, right? This juggler. It's like they're filling this void. This person lied about their money. This this money situation, lying about their money, is really standing out here. Okay? This could be someone who is a chef, or this ladies' man could be someone that cooks here, or... Take it as a residence. Have some type of online platform, or you could maybe you cook and you post online. Right. Also, you guys are like balancing out your finances here. <clears throat> Libra, it's like you guys are like. Juggling all these different things, taking this here, doing a lot of things in secret, meditating, taking action in secret. People don't know what you're doing. You can do all these different things, create all these different things, create abundance for yourself. Feast for yourself here. Anything else about this? Eight of Swords. So now this person is in the Eight of Swords here, wanting your forgiveness, okay? This sex demon tearing their ass up as well, okay? This person is uh, maybe thinking about this marriage, this relationship. You're single. They're with this family here. What? All right, y'all. Let's see. Why are they in the Eight of Swords? Right, it's like this person is struggling with their options, struggling with their illusions. The Libra, heartbroken over you, wanting your forgiveness here. Right, because that ego done got shattered, okay? That sex demon, I don't know where it went. Like, now this person is wanting to, like, be here and engage with you and freeing themselves to be in a, a situation here with you. A higher level of commitment. What's going on with this person and this ego death? Right? It's like this person is not in alignment here. This person lied. This person could also be losing out on a family here. Also, for some of you here, again, you could be going through this. For some, there could be a family going through an ego death. If they were doing magic or some shit. Take it as it resonates. What's going on with this ego death? Clarity, right? It's like, okay, it's time to get clarity here. It's justice. It's scale. It's clarity. Also, about you, Libra, here. You see that scale? It's like... Trying to manifest here. It's like for some of you here, it's like this person is going through some type of initiation and karma. 
So again, it's like whatever the fuck they was doing, putting out juggling illusions. It's like now they're heartbroken. Now it's time for them to go through this ego death here to clean up this energy. To like, this person was initiated by some goddamn uh, sex demon or some shit. What? What's going on with this sex demon? Because that message is here. What's going on with this sex demon? Pay attention. Right? It's like someone has some type of sex demon. Right? Offering in reverse. It's like this person is getting some type of karma. For some of you here, pay attention. Do not accept this person's offer here. This, Because this person has a sex demon. And it's a strong connection that they have with it. Mm. Anything else? Pay attention. Clear by pay attention. It's like for some of you, this person could be trying to initiate you or some shit. Be careful, y'all, with this. Clarify, pay attention. Autonomy and vision. Right? It's like, pay attention. It's like, for some of you here, you may get some type of vision here about this. Even about an initiation. Maybe you'll have a dream here or something. So, if that's the case, do not accept this offering from this person because this person has this strong-ass attachment to this sex demon or some shit. This person is really heartbroken here over you. What is this uh, person that's going through this ego death? What is their current energy at this point? Transformation, exactly. It's like this person getting their motherfucking head bust to the white meat. <laughs> and that's just that. And especially in their financial area. So for some of you here, it's like their stability is all shaken. Okay, this relationship for some, it's like this, a relationship could have ended. Because there's like a tower with two people here. So they could be like losing their relationship. It's like they're just getting karma here. For some of you, again, pay attention. You're going to get this vision here about this person with this sexual attachment to them, okay? <clears throat> but this person is going through a transformation. This person is in a mental prison here and heartbroken. Okay, so let's see, y'all. What's the advice here? It's like this transformation is making this person feel, you know, like empty without you here, Libra. All right. What is the advice? We have change. Okay, so for some of you here, this person could be struggling with the change. Make sure you guys are listening to guidance from your higher self here. You, you guys will get some visions as well. Continue to stay grateful, okay? It already happened. This is just balance. It's just justice. It's just the scales being balanced. And that's just that on that. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Awesome.